Hello, it's uh, it's me, David, and uh, it's been a while since I put up a YouTube video. I do apologize for that. I've been super duper busy, but um, over the last couple of weeks, uh, one of the things I've noticed is the comments on my Unity tutorials are um, <coughs> uh, they're very positive. They're they're saying that I'm 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 very good at, at doing tutorials, which um which is interesting because that was one of the first tools I ever did, and um, it's got like six seven thousand views, and I just I'm so grateful, but. Someone said, uh, I don't know, I've forgotten his name, but uh, someone said that um, it's the way that I do the tools, it's just very clear and concise and stuff. So um, I haven't done Unity stuff in quite a few months. I've been working on the engine in C++ for months and months and months. So um, I decided if I'm going to do a tutorial, I'm going to do a tutorial in something that I'm familiar with at the moment. So this is um, <coughs> this is C++, this is Visual Studio uh, 2012. And I wanted to uh, do a little tutorial on pointers because pointers, when I was learning C++, was one of the most complicated things I could ever uh, get my head around. And I just didn't understand it. So if anyone has um, a bit of knowledge in C++, I'm going to give you some more about pointers because pointers can be very useful when you understand how they worked. Anyways, I just have a little thing here that says STD, C that's the namespace, C out is the function, or um, I think so anyways. Um, and then it's just going to say hello world onto the screen. So debug, start with that debugging. Uh, okay, just build that, and there we go. Hello world, and we're done. So, um, if we <coughs> if we make a variable like say um, int, actually, can I can I make this bigger? Uh, okay, it's not working. There we go. Uh, can you see that? It's nice and big. Okay, um, int uh, a number. I'm gonna call that a number, and it's gonna be equal to uh, five. So now that's a number and that's going to be that. So now if I write a number here, it's going to print out exactly what you think it's going to print out. Um, it's going to print out the number 5 in the screen there. I don't know if you can see that, but it does actually say number 5 in the corner of the screen. But yeah, so that's, that's fairly simple. And we can make uh, a string that is called a uh, string and we're gonna make it oops uh, hello world so these are variables and you know very well how they work so if I just um, do I just change this to uh, there we go okay why is that not working we have to include string include anything with a, uh, a hashtag in front of it is called a preprocess directive and it just includes other files so that um, you know what's going on. You can press STD. There we go. Okay. Uh, go. And it prints hello world. That's perfectly fine. Now, if we make a pointer, and to make a pointer, all you gotta do is put um, a star in front of in front of the variable like that, or you can also put a pointer on here like that. doesn't really make a difference. I prefer it like that, so I'm going to keep it like that. And a pointer, uh, this is currently equal to null, and um, we can make this equal. A pointer is like a variable that holds an address to something. So um, in instead of actually being the variable that you want to access, it's the address to where that variable is kept in the RAM of your computer. So if we if we make this equal to um, the address of the a number variable which we have up here that's that if we make it uh, the address of that then this will be pointing to that in the RAM of the computer and in order to do that you have to write uh, you have to use the address operator which is the and sign like that or ampersand whatever you want to call it and if you write a uh, number like that this pointer, this one here, a pointer, is now equal to the address of a number. So um, if we now print a pointer, you're not actually going to see. You would assume that you would see the number 5, but you're not. What you're going to see instead is the address of number 5, which the address is at the moment 0039FBDC, which is the, the address in the memory. So if you want to access um, <coughs> the variable at the address, you have to use the dereferencing um, uh, operator, which is to put a star in front of the variable like that. So now, 
this is the dereferenced, or it's called dereferencing, the dereference pointer. So this will now be equal to 5. So if we click that, uh, yep, and there we go. It now says 5. Ta da! Isn't that fantastic? I think it's amazing. Anyways, moving on. Um, and then, um, uh, what else can we do? Um, oh, to show you another thing as well, that um, a pointer gave us that address. So, let's just do that again. Uh, it gave us the address of that, which is changed now, but that's fine. And I'm just going to show you that that's the same thing as a number, the address of a number. Uh, debug, start with that debug. That is the same thing. So, ta-da. Now, one of the first things, this is a fairly uh, simple th idea, This these, these pointers. Um, but when I was learning C++, <coughs> sorry, uh, when I was learning C++, I couldn't understand why you would need to do that. It just sounded stupid to me. But, one of the really cool things you can do is have um, a number or an integer or a variable and then have different functions manipulating that information uh, without copying it in. So I'm just going to uh, make a function here called uh, void print and it's going to take, uh, what is it going to take? It's going to take an integer. Let's call it print int. Integer value. So that's how you make a uh, function. And then we're just going to go, I'm just going to copy this here, like this, control C, put that here, and then change this to uh, value. Okay, now, using this system, it, it using, passing uh, integers or variables in like this, basically copies this. So if I call this, and I say uh, print int, and I put in... Um, uh, number. It copies a number into here, and then it prints it. Um, which sounds fair enough, but um, to show you why that can be an issue, if I just say, um, if I change the number before I print it, so value, value is equal to 5, like that. Actually, let's change that to 10. And then I, I pass print in and I pass in the number 5. Obviously, this is going to say 10 when it prints. Um, okay, why is there a build error? No, show me the build error. Print int identifier not found. Okay, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta put this. I'm just gonna go control X. You gotta put it before the main th function, otherwise, the main function doesn't know what it is. So, <coughs> that'll work. So now it prints 10 which is exactly what we thought it would do. Um, and you would assume that if I set the value, which is a number, if I set that value to 10, then a number would be equal to 5 as well. So if I uh, say std... Oh, um, oh, by the way, with std, I'm saying that a few times, no sexual jokes, because, yeah, that's just... Um, so if I print a number... This std end all thing is end line, just so you know. Um, so it's going to print the integer, a number, which is 5, and then it's going to print uh, a number. Um, uh, yes. Uh, blah, blah, blah. See now, it's printed 10 and 5. Now, that's fair enough. You would assume that would happen. But say you passed in a pointer. I'm going to do that. Obviously, it's made errors now, but that's fine. If I pass in the pointer of a, of a value, then uh, what's going to happen is, uh, how do I explain it? Um, instead of passing in a copy of, and I'm going to also do that and put the address of sign in front of there. Instead of passing in a copy of a number, um, it's going to pass in the address or the pointer to a number. And then it's going to print the dereferenced uh, value of that. So I'm going to put a little star in front of that. But before I do that, I'm going to uh, get the dereferenced value and set it to 10, like that. So we now have, when, when this function is called, we're going to have the pointer 
to a number and we're gonna dereference it and set it to 10 and then we're gonna print it and it's obviously it's gonna print 10 and then afterwards we're gonna print a number and last time it printed f a number as 5 when it printed it the second time but when it does it this time they're both gonna say 10 I don't know if you can see that there they both say 10 um, which is basically meaning that <coughs> um, you can change the value uh, but this function can change this value that's over here um, instead of just having a copy of it it can have a pointer to it but you can also do really cool things and obviously um, you've heard of functions returning a value so I'm just gonna do this and uh, let me just write this up quickly this tutorial is going on long this may be in two parts but that's fine you can you can live with that um, so this function now returns whatever the value is put in plus one so obviously it's going to um, let's just change this to add one uh, add one no oh, that's not right this is going to uh, give back when you call it it's going to give back the value plus one and obviously you know that you can only return one thing but with pointers you can return two things so in my game engine I have the image loading system takes in the name of the uh, the the name of the image and then it also takes in the variables uh, which I'm gonna do here their pointers out width and int out height and using that you can return more than one value so I'm gonna change this to void so because this is now void it's not returning anything it's gonna return nothing but if I say if I set out width if I dereference out width <coughs> okay I out height that's what IntelliSense thinks that I must do if I put that as 400 and dereference out width and set it to 600 um, right whatever you put into here whatever you pass into the function is going to be set so this function is going to return two values which I think is super duper useful so if I have uh, two numbers here width and we're going to set that to zero and int height is equal to zero um, let's get rid of that and I actually don't need that anymore either <coughs> my function is still called add one but that's fine so we're gonna put in the width and the height variable okay actually it needs the address so we need to put our address of operator or the ampersand signed and <coughs> that's that I'm sorry about the coughing I've been sick recently it's also why I haven't been on YouTube um, so I'm just setting this up here okay so what's gonna happen is we have our two variables which are equal to zero and we're gonna add one to them which makes no sense at all but that's just the name of the function and the add one function is gonna return 400 for the height and 600 for the width and it's gonna return two values and set those both to that and then when we print them it's gonna it's gonna uh, print them as um, actually we're gonna put a space in between these or else you're not gonna see it it's gonna it's gonna print out um, 600 space 400 um, would you like to build yes yes I would and there you go 600 space 400 and using pointers and references you can um, you can print um, multiple values now another more useful thing you can do with pointers uh, uses arrays and vectors but the video is getting pretty long and I'm gonna leave that for another video so tell me if you enjoyed the video and if you understand more about how pointers and references work and uh, like and you know whatever else people say at the end of a video and you know tell me if you enjoyed the video and uh, uh, it appreciates it I appreciate a lot that you enjoyed my last videos so bye bye